Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the big accessory equipment update along with the new accessory synthesis feature coming in episode SP. Currently, we can find the Magic Furnace or Enchant Fusion NPC in Aldebaran and we can only synthesize weapons and armors. However, with the upcoming episode SP, we'll now be able to synthesize accessories as well that will give us enhanced attributes and effects. Same as with the weapon and armor synthesis, you will retain any enchantment, refinement, and slotting in your main equipment. Since there are a lot of new tiers and new accessories coming, we will divide this into two videos. For the first part of this update, we'll discuss first all the new tiers and synthesis for the magic attack accessories. We'll also take a look at the new accessories including those which will be used by the new summoner class. As for the second part of this big accessory update, we'll take a look at the new tiers and synthesis of physical attack accessories. Note that the exact names may be translated differently once the patch is released in the C and Global servers, but the stats and materials needed will most likely be the same. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. The magic attack accessories will be useful for magic classes such as the Warlock, Sorcerer, Archbishop, Supernovus, and the new Summoner or Dorum class. Some of these will also be useful for physical classes that utilize magic attack in their skill damage computation, such as Rune Knights and Genetics. First up, we have the new tiers for the Flame Ring, which is the upgrade of the Int Earring. It can now be upgraded from Tier 1 to Tier 6 using the following materials. These additional tiers will significantly increase the magic attack and Int it grants. In addition, upgrading it will reduce variable cast time at plus 8 refinement, and increase fire damage at plus 12 refinement. A tier 6 flame ring will also be used as material in the synthesis of other magic attack accessories. Up next, we have the flaming feather which is a synthesis of the flame ring. When discussing the synth accessories, we will also be showing the attributes of the main accessory with max tier in the first column, the attributes of the synthesized accessory in the second column, and the comparative advantages of the synthesized accessory in the third column. We'll focus on the differences and will follow this format for all the synth accessories. Hopefully, this can help you decide if you'll be prioritizing accessory synthesis in the future episode. In here, we can see that in comparison to a tier 6 flame ring, the flaming feather will have additional plus 56 magic attack and plus 4 int. Another advantage is only granted at plus 15 refinement wherein it will increase fire damage by 6%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the flaming feather. Up next, we have the Tears Gloves, which is the synthesis of the Orleans Gloves. This accessory gives very high magic attack percentage and reduces variable cast time significantly when paired with the Orleans server offhand equipment. In comparison to a Tier 9 Orleans Gloves, the Tears Gloves will grant extra plus 74 magic attack and plus 4 int. In addition, it will have better attributes at higher refinement levels. It gives plus 3% magic attack at refine plus 8 plus 1% magic attack at refine plus 12, and plus 8% ignore mdef at refinement plus 15. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the tears gloves. Up next we have the tears redemption which is the synthesis of the Orleans necklace. This accessory gives high raw magic attack and immensely reduces variable cast time. In comparison to a tier 10 Orleans necklace, the tier's redemption will grant extra plus 66 magic attack and plus 8 int. In addition, it will have better attributes at higher refinement levels. It gives plus 10 magic attack and less 5% variable cast time at refinement plus 5, another 5% variable cast time reduction at refinement plus 10, and plus 80 magic attack at refinement plus 15. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the tier's redemption. Up next, we have the Eye of Kraken, which is the synthesis of the Eye of the Lahan. This accessory gives significantly high magic attack and has set effects with the Wizardry Staff, Crush's Staff, Lance of Dragon Tamer, and their respective synthesis. The advantages of the Eye of Kraken to a tier 8 Eye of the Lahan are plus 79 magic attack at no refinement, and plus 5% magic attack but at plus 15 refinement. Therefore, it is only better to synthesize your Eye of the Lahan if it is already at plus 15 refinement. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Eye of Kraken. Up next, we have the new tiers for Pocket Watch, which is dropped by the MVP Dark High Wizard Katarina. 
It can now be upgraded from Tier 1 to Tier 4 using the following materials. These additional tiers will increase the magic attack, dex, and and gear attack speed it grants. Lastly, for the magic attack accessories, we have the Time Controller, which is the synthesis of the Pocket Watch. This accessory possesses high magic attack, ignore MDEF, MPEN, and gear attack speed which make it suitable for the Sorcerer class. In comparison to a Tier 4 Pocket Watch, the Time Controller will grant plus 56 magic attack, plus 2 int, and plus 2 dex. Another advantage is only granted at plus 15 refinement, wherein it will increase magic penetration by 5%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Time Controller. Alright, now let's take a look at the new accessories coming in the next episode. First up, we have the Talisman Necklace, which is dropped by the new Mini Basilisk. It can only be used by the new Summoner or Dorum class, and grants plus 48 magic attack, plus 2 int, plus 2 dex, and plus 5% neutral damage. Talisman Necklace can be upgraded from Tier 1 to Tier 8 using the following materials. These additional tiers will increase the magic attack, int, and dex it grants. Refining it to plus 12 is ideal due to the plus 3% magic attack it will give. It also has a special effect which increases Catnip Meteor's skill damage multiplier for every plus 1 refinement which can be stacked. So you may equip 2 of these for higher damage. Lastly, it has a set effect with the new weapon Magic Fox Sail which further increases Catnip Meteor damage by 15%. This is a suitable accessory for the summoner DPS build since Catnip Meteor is a good AoE neutral damage farming skill which is quite similar to High Wizard's Meteor Storm. Up next, we have the Clover Necklace which is a synthesis of the Talisman Necklace. In comparison to a Tier 8 Talisman Necklace, the Clover Necklace will grant extra plus 56 magic attack, plus 2 int, and plus 2 dex. In addition, it will have better attributes at higher refinement levels. At plus 8 refinement, neutral damage is increased by 3%, while at plus 15 refinement, magic attack is increased by 5%, and catnip meteor skill damage multiplier is increased by 25%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the clover necklace. Up next, we have the catfish amulet which can be obtained from the new riff in episode SP. Similar to the Dallas Man Necklace, this accessory can only be used by the Summoner or Dorum class. It grants plus 42 magic attack, plus 2 int, and plus 2 vit, which makes it suitable for the Summoner support build. The Catfish Amulet can be upgraded from Tier 1 to Tier 3 using the following materials. Upgrading it gives a 1 second cooldown reduction for the Carp Party skill. Carp Party is a support skill that projects a teammate by reducing damage taken equal to a percentage of the caster's max HP. At tier 4, it can be upgraded to Fresh Catfish Amulet. As for Fresh Catfish Amulet, it can be upgraded from tier 1 to tier 8 using the following materials. Upgrading it grants more magic attack, int, and vit. In addition, it gives plus 1% healing bonus for each refinement level. Another 1 second cooldown reduction for Carp Skill Party, 2% max HP at refine plus 8, and plus 3% max HP at refine plus 12. A tier 8 fresh catfish amulet is the main accessory for the synthesis of Don't Forget the Beginning Amulet. In comparison to a tier 8 fresh catfish amulet, the Don't Forget the Beginning Amulet will grant extra plus 56 magic attack, plus 2 int, and plus 2 vit. In addition, it will give a total of 5 second cooldown reduction for carp party. Another advantage is only granted a plus 15 refinement wherein it will increase max HP by 4%. Here are the needed materials for synthesizing the Don't Forget the Beginning Amulet. Up next, we have the Survival Ring which can be crafted from the Rachel Equipment Craft NPC using the following materials. It can be used by all jobs and it grants the following attributes. Plus 54 Magic Attack and Magic Attack, plus 4 Int and Vit, plus 3% Max HP, and plus 5% Demi Human Damage Reduction. In addition, it grants plus 3% max HP at refine plus 8, and plus 4% max HP at refine plus 12. Last but not the least, we have the Morpheus Ring. This will actually be added in episode 6.5 patch, and can be crafted from the Light Halls and Equipment Craft NPC using the following materials. It can be used by all jobs, and it grants the following attributes. Plus 108 attack, plus 8 int, 
plus 100 and plus 4% max SP. If refined to plus 12, it further increases max SP by 6%. Alright, so far we've gone through all the new tiers and synthesis for magic attack accessories. We also took a look at the new accessories including those which will be used by the new summoner or Doram class. We've highlighted the differences and advantages of each new accessory and also touched on the needed materials for the synthesis. I hope this video will help you guys decide if you'll be upgrading your accessory in episode SP. Make sure to stay tuned for the update on the physical attack accessories. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the North subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.